Like what is spatial data analytics? How does that differentiate from some of the other things we do in GIS? So I think of spatial analysis as um, in a lot of in a lot of cases, it's why we do a lot of the other things we do within a GIS, right? You know, we're collecting and creating authoritative spatial data that helps us keep all of these different systems working the way that they're supposed to. Um, but a big part of us collecting and creating that data is so that we can understand it better. And um, as great as it is to have raw data, um, generally it's really hard to use just visualization and mapping to turn that data into useful information that we could use to make decisions. So um, if you think about throwing a bunch of points on a map that you've collected uh, and asking your brain to do all of the hard work of figuring out what that data is telling you, um, certainly the brain can do some of that. Um, you know, our brains are really, really powerful statistical machines constantly finding and understanding patterns, but um, we also bring, as people, biases and our own kind of um, experiences to our visual analysis of things. And so being able to go beyond that visual analysis and uh, really ask questions of our data and get answers that are reliable and that are as objective as we can get them um, can take away some of that and take some of the load off of us as as people um, trying to make sense of data and, and turn it into something we can use to make decisions. So it's, I, I often think about it as, you know, we're really assigning numbers to patterns so that we can interpret them and compare yep. them through time and compare them through space. Yeah, quantifying patterns as opposed to just this very um, generic, I, I, the, I often talk about this idea that like, okay, I can put a million points on a map. And I'm going to see kind of what I expected to see already when I look at those million points. So things naturally cluster, things naturally, um, are, there are these kind of natural, maybe even sometimes random patterns, but being able to quantify those patterns and go beyond what that visual analysis tells us is critical because, you know, it's not just it's not just like coffee talk, right? Like you're you're trying to find the patterns to literally pour money into a problem, to allocate resources to doing something. And you want to have more than just, oh, it really looks like there's a lot of them over here. You know, you want to say, no, there's there are a lot of them and it's this much more than we would expect. And it's this is uh, this is as objectively as we can get and based on um based on more than just my opinion, this is where we would get the most kind of impact out of those resources, you know?